Hello, I am Pam, and this is my channel, Made by Pam. So yesterday, I guess I had scheduled myself to go live. I am so sorry about that. I got busy doing other stuff. Like, I decided to clean. Yeah, so it's still a mess. Obviously, I'm trying to figure out where to put everything. But I will get it done. All right, so... Further ado, I am going to go ahead, shut off that headset, and go into my phone, and monitor my video from my phone, <laughs> and then turn down my volume, oh, and I will turn off my volume on my phone also. All right. So, I guess, um, I was going to do fives and sixes, is what I had planned. If I have my fives and sixes here, I haven't looked at this much since I did it last. So, how about we get started? All right. I'll go ahead and scan you down so you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully that doesn't mess with the lighting too much. I'm not 100% sure how that looks. Because I moved all my, like, I moved my other board that I was using earlier to kind of block some of the excess light. And that's not going to work. Okay. I don't know what I did with it. Because I'm not prepared. Anywho. <laughs> Alright. So. I did get my water. I have my cup of water for rinsing out my brush right here. And I have my paper towel for wiping off my brushes. And... I usually cut off these ends here because I don't want it to bump me. And I usually separate them because I prefer to have the little thing separated. All right. So we're going to do number five. Beautiful. And once again, I am so sorry about yesterday. Hi, Marty. How are you doing today? So glad for you to stop in. I was actually scheduled for yesterday. And that would have been fine. Um, to do yesterday. Because there was like nobody at all streaming. And I totally spaced it. So when I was picking up my kids from school, I realized that I had scheduled a stream because I was looking through videos. And I realized I had scheduled a stream for yesterday morning. And I didn't do it. Instead, what I was doing is I was cleaning so I got home and decided to start moving stuff and cleaning and sweeping and rearranging and putting up a shelf. And now, since that's all done, I love how open it is back there. The thing is, it's not going to stay that way because I kind of have to put things back so that everything fits. That means stacking things on top of each other and whatnot. And that's just the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, I was cleaning. Well, and I clean a couple times a year. So I basically move everything out, rearrange things a little bit here and there. 
And then I always run into the problem of trying to make it all fit once I get things cleaned up. So at one point, I thought about going to the thrift store yesterday. You know, that was on Tuesday. That was like, hmm, maybe I'll go thrift store shopping on Wednesday. So I guess it was Tuesday I said that. Yeah. That did not happen. I was like... Pulling up my stuff and moving stuff. And I'm like, oh, there is no thrift store. <laughs> I'm like, I don't need anything else. I have so much already. What could I possibly need? Yeah, I like to go look for the treasures and things that I don't have yet. That would come in handy. But oh my goodness. Sometimes I'm like, I'm better off if I don't even go and look. Because then I won't even know what I'm not missing out on. You know. It just. The sheer amount of stuff that I have. <sighs> horrible. Hi, Trey. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Trey. Um. So, yesterday, <laughs> I totally spaced that I had um, scheduled a live. Like, I totally, like, forgot. I thought about going live because someone else wasn't going to be going live because they'd message in the morning saying that they decided they weren't going to go live. And I seriously contemplated, you know, using that time slot because I was scheduled for nine o'clock, grounded. And they were scheduled for, well, my time, nine o'clock. So 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And I, I knew that they were going to go on like 10 o'clock my time. And I totally like flaked i'm so sorry about that i'm so sorry that i was a huge flake yesterday i decided instead of streaming that i was gonna clean so i got busy and started moving stuff out like because basically when i clean like i take the stuff that won't easily like shift around in here um, to make manageable. I take it upstairs to my bedroom and I set it on the side of the bed. And I, I do, I clean like that maybe twice a year. So I think the last time I cleaned was like maybe, I know it wasn't February this year because last February I did. So. I know it was when my husband was gone. Might have been January or March or something. Because he was gone for a training for a couple weeks. And so usually when my husband leaves is when I like, do the deep cleaning down here. Because I'll take everything out and I will um, sweep and vacuum and clean. But that, what that entails is finding a spot to put the stuff while I do that. And so I usually move it up to my bedroom. And I only do that when my husband is gone. Because that's the best time to do it. So he left Tuesday morning to start driving to his training. Well, to his um, station that he's going to. And... Um, I decided yesterday that since he was gone, that I would start cleaning. Because <laughs> on Tuesday, I streamed with Joni, 
in the morning. Because we took Kathy Cow's spot. Because Kathy wasn't going to stream. And then Wednesday, I had myself scheduled, but I totally flaked. I'm so sorry. So yeah, you're east. So is it eleven o'clock there, Trey? Because if you're in Georgia, that's like um like Eastern time. Yeah, East Coast. So yeah, you would be like eleven o'clock there. Your messages, Trey. Um, when I was pulling up and looking at the information, and I try to type in, yeah, so I try to type in that, um, I like totally flaked and got busy and had to go on the computer to reschedule because... I try to do it on my phone. I try to like log on and reschedule it on my phone for the live. And it wouldn't let me do it from my phone. And so I was like, well, I guess that's not happening. <laughs> oh, I found another number five right here. So I couldn't reschedule. Not till I got home. And so. And I was out picking up my kids from school. And then I had a meeting that lasted half an hour. And then. Had to get my kids food. And then I finally made it down. And got the live rescheduled. But I felt so bad. That I was such a flake. <laughs> yeah, daylight savings time. I hear that they're supposed to be doing away with that. But I don't know really what's going to happen. You know, I switch this thing around, and then I find more spots on the other side. Isn't that the way it goes, though? And I'm sure I probably saw this before. I just... That's like the squirrel. Like, I see the other number five as I'm painting one in. I'm like, oh, there it is. Let's go back over. <laughs> and instead of, like, actually... um, Figuring out... That I was still coloring a five and I'm getting like squirrel sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, I just wish they would just leave the time alone, like period. Like I know Arizona doesn't change theirs at all. Theirs is like always the same. I visited, like, well, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, so my husband's brother and his wife, were living in Arizona for a couple years. And so one year, we went down and we stayed with them, like, over Christmas break till, like, New Year's, because we had, like, vouchers for the airline. Because they gave us some vouchers. Because they messed up on a flight. And gave us vouchers. Hi Artsy. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. But they gave us. Vouchers. And we had to use them before like February. And it was when my son was little. So maybe he was. Like a month old. Or was he older than that? I think it was like. 2017 that we went out for because I, I 
don't think I would travel with him with that little, but I think he was a year old. Yeah, he was a year old at that time. So we traveled out to Arizona, like we flew, and then we stayed with the um, brother and sister-in-law because they had enough room. They had an extra bedroom. They didn't have any kids. They just had an extra bedroom. And, and they had a living room that had couches and stuff. And so they put us up. Granted, we had had a, like, a motel-type thing room, but it had, like, some weird, like, smell. Like, they just painted or something. And couldn't accommodate us being, like, right next door to each other. They had, us like, several rooms down. And just everything and just the place gave me the heebie-jeebies seriously and i thought we could make it work but after getting in there and looking around i'm like nope 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 we went and told them that we weren't gonna stay granted they still made us pay like a small fee which is understandable um but it was, it was more memorable to be staying with the brother and sister-in-law than it would have been to stay in the motel. It's so much better. And we had a pretty good Halloween. I took my kids out trick-or-treating. So I think I have all the fives. If I don't, I can go back and do more fives later. Because I doesn't, oh, I just found another five. See, <laughs> I think I'm going to, I'm done with the fives and then I find another one right up here towards the top here. Um, but yeah, we had a pretty good Halloween. I took the kids out. I, my husband was home. He just got home and, um, so we went out trick or treating. Like we walked the kids down the block, like both sides of the street, down our street. So maybe like three blocks worth, because our street is like a block. Like not a whole block, because a whole block would be walking all the way around. But we walked down the street, like from one end of the street to the other. And then we went up to the next street. Obviously, there wasn't anyone on that next street. Well, there was one house that we went to. There wasn't really any other houses because there was a park there. And then none of the other houses were home or giving out candy or whatever. But I try to tell my kids that we're not going to houses that don't have their porch lights on. And so, then we went to one house, and in their little foyer thing, because you would, like, knock and stuff. But they had on their door, take one box of can, one box of cereal per child. My kids were so excited. Not that they're eating any of it, but they had, like, marshmallow, fruity pebble um, cereal from post they were so excited and I think my son has eaten a little bit of the cereal because he's the one that want, really wanted it all my 12 year old but the other ones I don't think they've eaten any of it which would be fine if they did eat it but yeah and then on um, so that was Monday, Halloween. So on Tuesday, after I got off streaming with Joni, I went upstairs and I was making myself some food. So I made some hash browns and sausage. And I decided that I was going to 
look in the freezer and see what I'd want to make for dinner for that night. And so I saw a turkey loaf. It's like a boneless turkey. It was like a turkey loaf. So I decided that I would cook that up. So I cooked turkey for dinner that night. Probably should have used my bigger part. I'll get between this area here with this one. So now I'm doing the number sixes. And then if I see a number five again, or any other of the numbers that I've already done, I have them just to the side of me here that I can fill in. But yeah, so we ate turkey <laughs> on Tuesday night. But it tasted so good. One thing is, I wouldn't want to save it till... I could save it till Thanksgiving, but what's the point? Like, we're probably going to end up going to my husband's parents' house. For Thanksgiving. But they're obviously going to want to see the kids. I can't like. Not go over there and say hi and visit. I would be just fine either way. Yeah. <laughs> you had hot dogs for dinner. Awesome. And potato chips and soda. Yeah. Heinz ketchup and French's mustard. Those are good ones. I'm just trying to see if I see any other small areas that are sixes right here. I got out my little paper so I could like reference where those orange areas would be. And then I see it. Oh, and then there's a bunch of sixes over here, too. Then I was just a couple minutes, like, coming on this late. Yeah. I felt so bad yesterday. Like, man... Sweet honey barbecue sauce, pancake syrup. Oh, yeah. All right, Trey. Well, have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. But, yeah, so yesterday I basically spent all day cleaning. Still got so much more to go, though. So much more. It's crazy. Like, you move things, and it's like, oh, my goodness. Where did all this stuff come from? It's only because I stack it and pile it on. You know? Need to find a better storage system for some of my stuff, I guess. I just need to not buy so much stuff. That's all there is to it. And that's what I came up with yesterday. Is that I don't need to go to the thrift store at all, like ever. Like if I was donating something, but that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Occasionally I'll take stuff and donate. You 
You know, I might end up having to go like a second coat with some of this because I can kind of see the numbers through the paint because it's kind of not quite dark enough. Not that it's bad to see the number. I'm sure seeing the number is just fine. I guess I didn't fully realize that this red wasn't going to cover up the edges of that, like, brown. Oh, that's fun, Marty. Run some stuff over to your mom. Well, that's always good to do. Yeah, it's hard to stay organized. But I do try to clean. And it'll stay clean for a couple minutes at least. At least sweeping the floor. Because I do have to do that. You know. Now, I do sweep the floor on a regular basis. But like the other areas. Like where things sit and like underneath shelves and stuff like I move those shelves and I need to make sure that I clean underneath the shelves like sweep and like clear off the tables and clean it off so it was good to clean I should probably do it more often. But then that would mean less playtime. I just found another number five. <laughs> like squirrel. <laughs> Little game of squirrel. Yeah, we had snow artsy. We got lots of snow up on the mountains now. We had snow yesterday. Granted, it didn't stick to the grass very well or the roads. Hi, Jasper. So glad to see you here. Yeah, get some coffee. And lurk and work. <laughs> That's all good. I guess I'm a little bit sloppy with this brush. Oh my goodness. How atrocious is that? I'm sorry. I guess it really doesn't matter how awful it is. Well, just look like one of my kids painted it. <laughs> Yeah, so true, Marty. I am having fun with it. And I do plan on putting it on a, like a canvas frame thing and hanging it up somewhere. I have some spare space, like a spare wall in my bedroom, like a space that I can hang this up. So I think I will do that when I'm done with it. I figure out how to mount it to a canvas board thing 
Or make one. I don't know. I'll figure it out one way or the other. I have an old pear pitcher. I didn't paint it, but somebody did. I just have it sitting up there. I don't know if my sister painted it years and years ago or what. But it just kind of floats around the house here and there. And sometimes I think about taking that and replacing the picture on it. <laughs> yeah that would be fun that's what I was telling earlier like Arizona wouldn't it be too bad to live the problem I found with it is it's so dusty like, my kids would wake up and their eyes would be, like, goobered shut. Because there was so much dust and just everything. It was crazy with how goobered their eyes got. But yeah. I would love to live in an area that didn't get like cold. But I wouldn't want to like live where it's super duper hot either. I think like springtime is like my favorite time. Because it's starting to warm up. Some mornings you would still like need a jacket or whatever. Because it's still a little bit chilly. But it's not like cold, cold. This is like what you would call a jeans and jacket kind of day. I've never, like, stretched my own canvases. Granted, I haven't done a lot of things. <laughs> but that would be fun. To be able to stretch your own canvas. I almost contemplated stretching this on a board like putting it on a board before i started painting it and that may have been the optimum way to go i think i don't know does it make a difference artsy like painting it then putting it on the board or putting it on the board before you paint it like what's preferable or will it not even matter And is there a certain technique, you know, that's better than others? You know, I haven't watched any videos on how to stretch canvases or any of that. So I could probably do that. I 
maybe figure out like the size of the board I would need. I guess like from like these points right here on here, they like the points here and like measure those and see what size I would need, I guess. I got paint on my finger now. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good to see you here. So glad you could join us. I am doing a paint by number. And it is this picture here. Okay, Jasper. Enjoy getting your chores done. <laughs> Lots of fun. So glad you could stop in for a moment. And this picture I got from New Craft Day. So they'd reached out to me. A while back and asked me if I was interested in doing like a cooperation collaboration type thing where I would they would send me out so many items like up to a cost um, and they would pay everything for it and they would send it to me and the only requirement was I did like an unboxing video type thing. Um, like a reveal video with their link and information. And so I did that in exchange for the picture, which wasn't bad. And when I did the video for that... I'd also mentioned that I would try to do the crafts online, like so people could watch. And I guess that kind of makes some accountability because if I wasn't like doing this live and posting it, I don't think I would actually get it done. Hi, Cherry. How are you doing? Good to have you here. Yeah, I'm painting the fives and the sixes. I think I have all of the fives painted. No, there is one five I don't have painted yet. Because it's like you look around for the sixes and stuff. And then you see, a, see another number and it's like squirrel. And then you get lost. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still working on cleaning my room, Sherry. Could I tell you I was cleaning it yesterday? Yeah, I'm still working on cleaning it. And I was actually supposed to do a video yesterday. And I totally, totally flaked. I had it scheduled and everything. And I could have done it. But I, like, totally spaced that I actually had it scheduled. 
And so I didn't get it done. And so when I was off picking up my kids from school, I was looking through my channel on my phone and looking through my live stuff and realize. All right, see you later, Marty. Thanks for stopping by. But I realized that I had totally like um, spaced my video and I couldn't like go on and like reschedule it or delete it or anything from my phone. So I had to wait till I got home to change it. And so I scheduled it, rescheduled it for this morning. And then, of course, I kind of overschedule myself. Well, so this morning after I took my kids to school, I um, went to the grocery store because we needed more milk. And, and of course, as I'm walking by, I look at the candy section. Not that I need any more candy, per se. But I walk by the peppermint, like, so they had, like, a peppermint bark, like, chocolate candy. Yeah. And I don't need any of that, really, either. But I got it anyways. You know? But I got the milk. And as I'm walking by, like, looking at some of the other stuff, because like, I walk right by the meat section as I'm walking over towards the milk. And I decide to pick up a package of pre-sliced meat. And I picked up two pounds of meat. And if you ask what I'm going to do that with the meat, I am making jerky. Oh, I love peppermint and hot chocolate. Like my favorite in the hot chocolate right now is like I have one of the little Keurig machines. Now, I don't drink coffee. I don't have anything against people drinking coffee. That's just fine. I personally don't drink coffee. I don't really like the smell. Which is weird because I worked at Denny's for a couple years. And while I was working at Denny's, you know, you had to <laughs> get coffee for people. I just realized I have more spots over here. Like, you have to get the coffee for people um, as you're working. And you have to brew the coffee. Like, I even worked in a convenience store. You know, that was supposed to be 24 going around that area. Dang it. Well, there is a link. I may not get credit for it. But you can get a 10% discount. And I do have a video out that um, shows what I got from this company. But it's New Craft Day. And you can get a 10% discount off your total purchase. And the code that you would put in for that is made by Pam 10 and that gives you a 10% discount. And. Like if you go back. Um, and look at. My boxing. Like my unboxing video. My new craft day box video. It has that information in there. And it even has the percent discount code. So you can get 10% off. 
And it may give credit to where they may say, oh, well, this lady is really spreading it around. Yeah, it's a link on my other um, video. Yeah, I worked at Denny's for a couple years, and it was, um, it was before I had my kid. So, he's 22 now. So, and I, like, quit, like, right before I had him. Like, I had him in September. I finished working in August. Yeah, and if you use um, that discount code, I'm sure that will count because it will show that it's um, from me, that you got the code from me, that I have people watching the video and um, interested in what I'm doing. So I don't know if you saw, Sherry, but I can show you really quick the other items that I got from that. I'm sure you could watch the video and see it too. But I have a diamond dot painting that I got from their um, website. So they'd reached out to me and said, hey, we saw some of your YouTube videos. We'd be, we were wondering if you'd be interested in then doing a collab with us, like a cooperation. So I have this little diamond dot, like, it's like so much smaller than this frog. Oh my goodness. Look how much smaller that is. But it's just a little diamond dot picture. Like that's on my canvas. And they provide you with the diamond dots for it. So like I think eight different um, colors. And then they provide you with like the little like sticky stuff. That you use with this tool and the diamond dots. And then little tweezers and the little sorting tray. And that's what um, I got. And you can choose what you want. These are just the items I chose. And then the other one that I got. Let me put this back in the bag. Which would probably be better if I like left it out and let it sit out. But I don't know when I'll get to this. <laughs> yeah. I remember making banana splits for people. I don't think I ever got in trouble. But... Yeah, that would be fun. And this one is just a little, like, notebook that they sent me. It, it's like a little diamond dot. So I chose these items. I could have chosen other items. They also have cross stitch. But I'm not a huge cross stitcher. I've done cross stitch, but I'm not a huge cross stitcher. So I don't think that I would get any, like, real benefit out of it. But I like painting, and um, I figured doing diamond dot would be fun, too. I've never done diamond dot, but it would be fun. So they give you a little tray with the little sticky stuff and the um, tool. They don't give you any tweezers with this one. But that's okay, because I already have a set of tweezers with the other one. And then it's like a little elephant. I guess this is a size A5 notebook. But I got the little diamond dot elephant for the cover. And then it just has like blank pages on the inside. And when I was getting it, I like thought that it would end up being smaller. Because I was like, hmm, do I want to get a notebook? Is it going to be big enough? You know, because I didn't want it being like little super tiny. It's actually a bigger size than I originally thought it was going to be. But yeah. 
So I was able to get three items from their choice. Like, because I had, like, looked at four different items. And they told me that I could go up to a certain dollar amount. And to pick out up to that dollar amount, because of customs and stuff, um, they can't go over that certain dollar amount that they're sending out. Now, and that that's on their end, like, to send it out to me for, like, no cost to me type thing. Because it was part of the cooperation. It doesn't mean that anyone else is going to have to put a limit if they're ordering. But they said, like, when we were doing it, that they might be interested in, like, later um, doing more cooperations like that. So I think that would be fun. Like, every once in a while, I'll get contacted by different companies. And they'll send me an email asking if I'd be interested in promoting their product on YouTube. And so sometimes I take them up on it. Like, one time I had, like, little needle threader things. And that turned out okay because they did actually, like, send out to me. Basically, I ordered it and paid for it. They just reimbursed me on PayPal type thing. So basically, you're ordering it and paying the upfront costs to have it delivered. And they're just reimbursing you um, with PayPal on, on some of the other cooperations. Like this one, they didn't require that information. They just needed to know, like, where I lived and my name and stuff. Like the basic information so they could send it to me. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. Yeah. One time in dot painting still in the box or in the package. Yeah. I have some other diamond dot paintings. So I would find them like there's one that I found like for like 75 cents. It's got the whole set there like the um, diamond dots and the picture and the all that in the package and I got for like 75 cents at the thrift store so I picked it up can't even remember what it's of I think I have like two different ones that I picked up from the thrift stores and so I have them, like, I got them a couple years ago, and I thought about using it as, like, a Christmas present. Um, like, I thought about, like, using it to give away as Christmas presents. And that just didn't happen last year. I think I, like, totally forgot that I actually had the Diamond Dot painting that I bought that I was going to use as a present. And so I ended up using something else. But yeah. Yeah, you got contacted by Mary Made Vinyl. They want to use your video and we'll send you more vinyl for another video. Oh, that's cool. And this company, like, um, it was... Like, the company, it was New Craft Day. And they did, like, the diamond dot and the cross-stitch stuff. And they said to pick out, like, a cross-stitch and a diamond dot painting. Well, I just went to their website and was like, okay, well, I'm definitely not doing cross-stitch. So, I didn't do any cross-stitch. But I found other items that I like, like the paint by number. 
Now they never said anything about paint by number on their in their little letter thing or whatever. But I'm like, if I'm going to pick something from their website, I'm going to pick something that I will do, that I will personally do. Because I'm not going to pick something that's not going to be used. So one reason why I won't pick cross-stitch. I've done cross-stitch before. And I know my um, sister-in-law would do cross stitch because she does a lot of cross stitch because she doesn't do a lot of sewing but she does a lot of cross stitch but it, it just i guess it would not bring me joy <laughs> so if it's not gonna bring me joy there's no point in getting it right right so therefore there's no cross stitch i have cross stitch yes i got this frog from their site from new craft day and they had some other paint by numbers also now this frog it like it's a big canvas it's a pretty big picture so I really like how big it is. I'll just have to get it arranged so I can um, get it on a canvas and hung up somewhere. You know, if I could hang it up in my craft room, I would. But... I don't have like the wall space down here to hang it up. Because three out of the four walls have like a ledge, like shelf ledge type thing. Cause I'm in the basement. And so it isn't the most space. But yeah. And then that back wall, it doesn't have a, like the half wall, like shelf thing. I actually have shelves back there. So I bought a shelf to try to organize things a little bit better. I don't know if that's gonna help any. Yeah, if it's not something that you enjoy, you don't want to do it. You want you want to do something that you enjoy doing. But I bought a shelf and I set it up yesterday. Cuz I moved things around and moved things, put things upstairs so it would give me time to organize cuz I don't have to bring all that stuff down here anytime soon at least not until my husband comes home to visit and then i would have to make sure i um have stuff moved out of there so i'd be just fine leaving like my boxes of patterns and bags of patterns upstairs until <laughs> like whenever he, he he might come home for christmas or thanksgiving i'm not sure exactly because they will have those weekends and stuff so we'll see what happens because he can fly down and then when he flies down i will just go to the um, airport and pick him up from the airport when he comes home because the airport's like 45 miles 
So it takes anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour to get out to the airport, depending on traffic. So it's not bad. We don't live too far away from the airport. Like we do have an airport just up the street. But it's it's not one that will fly from where he's at. I know the airport up the street will fly to Arizona, like to Las Vegas and stuff. But the airport up the street isn't going to fly to where he's at in Texas. So um, that's not going to work. Or that would be like a super easy commute. <laughs> You know, he could just fly in. I just got paint on my hand because I stuck my arm in the paint. Like he could just fly in and then he'd probably just have to walk home because it's like literally that close. It's like maybe two miles. That would be kind of cool. Well, now I'm going to have to use a finer brush no he's not a trucker he's military so my husband is in the military um he is mobilized at the moment um he's in the finance division so he takes care of like the finances for the soldiers being deployed and coming back from deployment So it's not too bad. Like he had the CDL. Like if he wanted to, he could be a trucker. Like he used to drive like the bigger trucks for the military. You know, because he was like one of like the. Um, I like them. Can't even think of the name of it now. But yeah, definitely not a trucker. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. How are you doing? So glad you could join me today. I'm just doing my paint by number that I've been working on. I'm putting my hand in paint because I put my hand right over the paint right after I paint it. And so I have paint on my hand. Um, <laughs> I'm just doing paint by number, my rug. And so I'm painting the fives and the sixes today. Like Monday, I painted the number 23s. I forgot like the one, two, goes up too. And then decided that I would do the fives and sixes today. But there wasn't very many fives. And there's a. And this is like a several part video because I'm already on like session five of this video series. And yeah, I don't do lives very often, Tiffany. I just like started just recently. Now I was going back in my history and looking at like some of the other like videos that I've done that are lives. Now there was like... When I first started out my YouTube channel years and years ago, I was making pants for my boys because they um, have uniform pants for school. But I was making a pattern and I was kind of watching a little bit of it this morning. 
Um, Cause I decided to do it live because I was, I think I, at that time I was just like using my Chromebook. So with that, I didn't have the, um, like the capability to like pause and like really edit my videos very well. Because once you stop the video, it kind of had to like, you could post it and I didn't have like the capability to edit it so well on the Google Chromebook that I had and so I decided when I was making that I'd already done like most of the pants itself like I'd already added the pockets and everything to it but I was like sewing the pants together and that's like, that's some early footage of, like, first starting my channel. But then, like, I had my, I was down here, like, doing videos and stuff. And my kids would like to come down. Because they do. They like to come down. And I guess he was six at the time. I now 10-year-old. So, like, four years ago. He liked to come on like he liked youtube and i was doing youtube and he like presses live you know he figures it out how how to go live especially on my phone he did like a little video kind of my daughter was talking about other things too and um i was you know i heard myself talking in and a little bit and i was like tired but I was up most of that night with my now five-year-old and I was like oh <laughs> that's interesting <laughs> you know one of those things but you know he's playing with like the different filters on my phone at the time while recording like a live youtube video and posting it and on that i have comments disabled because it is just a child there you know talking and then there's a couple other videos um that are out there like years ago but it's but the way they do it, it's easy to find like the lives, and I don't have a whole bunch of lives, so it's easy to scan down through the live videos and see which videos are available to watch that were live. So it's not too bad. Um. And the machine I was using in my first live video, um, that was my Neki machine. That's N E C C I or H I or something. And I still have that machine, but something happened with the bobbin case thing that the timing or something was off. And so instead of fighting with it, I put it away and took out a different machine and used that. And then last year, <laughs> that um, my other machine broke. My brother machine broke. Um, well, just the stitch selector broke. So I took it apart, looked at it. Well, took what I could out looked at it, figured that there was no way I was going to be able to get that stitch selector fixed. So I switched it, but I was able to reach in and switch the, sw the stitch selector thing. I switched it just to a straight stitch. So if I'm doing like a heavier weight type fabric that... um. 
I don't think my other machine is going to be able to handle. Um, I'll switch to that. I think I'd actually switch to that when I was doing the bags for the the collaboration we did. Sherry. Oh. <laughs> Man, don't be scared to do them. You know, I haven't done very many lives, but I have watched a lot of lives. So kind of watching the lives and kind of seeing how they do their lives. It kind of gives you an insight on how you can do it. But also like doing the paint by numbers and the amount of time that it takes to do this and knowing me I would probably record it like if I wasn't doing it live I'd probably record it and get fed up with like trying to edit or something because things happen and I would think oh this video is way too long this is going to take forever just to upload and download onto youtube because i have to like after i edit a video i have to like um like upload it into my comp like into my system like saving the file so it's a save file in there and then after that's done saving I go on and I um, have to upload it to YouTube. And so that takes an extra little bit of time. But just the editing and stuff and the amount of time that takes, sometimes I'm like, hmm, do I want to spend that amount of time editing this video and posting it? Sometimes it, like, is overwhelming. And I'm sure you guys all feel that. But, yeah, with YouTube videos, you don't edit. You can edit. Like, some people do edit. And then their live chat replay isn't going to show when people watch it back. But. When I go through, I just, like, I finish and I do not edit anything out of the lives. There's no point to edit anything out of the live. Not unless there's something serious that happens. Then you might need to. Like, you can run a live and then you can, you know, and just have the people that watched it you know, watch it as it's live and then it's not available anymore. That's an option. You don't have to like have it on the platform the whole time. You can take it down. Oh yeah. I hear that the advent calendars are expensive. Now I was contemplating doing like the vlogmas again this year. Um, cause I did it last year, <laughs> you know, it was, it was a challenge to get on every single day and do a video and try to figure out like what I was going to do. So to go on, record the video and edit the video and then post it. That, that gets a little bit much at times. But the thing is, like, now that this, like, live community has opened up, and when I do lives, I try not to step on anybody's toes. Oh, um, is Artsy still here? I don't know if she's still here or not. Um... Artsy, 
I think she said she was going to do a live video today. Because I think she said she was going to do them on Thursdays. So I wonder if she's going to be doing her video today. Because she, Artsy does paintings. And she has some amazing paintings she's done. I don't know if she's going to do it or not. But she might. Also, are you going to be going live later today, Artsy? Now, if you're wondering what Artsy's real name is, it's Kelly. But she's okay with calling her Artsy. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And I just saw number six and everything. And now I can't find it again. But yeah, I was just wondering if you're coming live later today, Artsy. Yeah, I'm thinking the live vlogmas would be like a great idea. You know, even if it's just like coming on and like coloring a picture or something. Okay, so not today. That's fine, Artsy. I just thought I would ask. And I know you said that you'd probably do them on Thursdays. So I just thought I would ask. But I totally understand. I catch up on some winter stuff. I totally understand. Like when my husband left on Tuesday. So he left Tuesday morning. Right after I left to take the kids to school. And I got home. And I pulled my vehicle into the garage because we have a garage out there that we can park our vehicles in. Now I can't even find my number six, six that I was going to. Oh, there it is. Retouch. So I should use this other one. Yeah, you want me to put her link in, Sherry? Let me go ahead and put Artsy's link in. I can do that really quick. So I can do that from my phone. Okay. Here's Artsy's link. And then. For any of those that are not subscribed to Sherry. Over in Granny's Sewing Room. You can. I'll put her link in too. If I can even type the name right. <laughs> All right. So there's Sherry's link. And then I'll type in Tiffany's link real quick. Okay. So. Tiffany's link here. Whoops. That's not the right link. I'm so sorry. I just retyped in. Granny sewing room. I think. Well, maybe it was the right link. Yeah, it was the right link. Okay. And then we have Artsy's. We have Tiffany's. Oh, hi, Miss Gigi. I didn't even see you come in. I'm so sorry, Miss Gigi. So good to see you in here. And then Miss Gigi also has a channel. So you can check out Miss Gigi. Now, she likes to stream with... Um, I think she streams with Beth. So I'll put in Miss Gigi's link here. And then there was um, So Notes, Chris. And I will add her link in here too. Because I know Chris does videos too. Okay. Yeah, with Beth and Becca. 
Oh, you came up with 24 small items to make? Oh, well, that'll be cool in your own advent. Each day you'll make that item. Oh, that's a great idea. Like your own like little advent calendar. Oh, that sounds marvelous. Like I was thinking, like with some of the stuff I've been making, um, like I made like little towels and stuff. Like before I forget where this number six is, I need to fill it in. I just had to share all those links. These are all people that I watch. <laughs> Yeah, it is fun finding other channels. It's hard to keep up with them all and to watch them all. But it is fun. But sometimes you're just looking for something different. Something with a little bit of different style, you know? And having something a little different than like your everyday norm stuff is good too. But sometimes it's hard to do the same thing every day. Oh, you're so welcome, um, Chris. Thank you, Gigi. I love how the frog is looking, too. I think I have all my fives and sixes. Oh, I just found another number six. <laughs> Since I saw it, I will get it really quick. All right, so I found, like, two more number sixes. Oh, so you ordered your, si your sister to paint by numbers. That's neat. Which ones did you order, Sherry? And I really enjoyed watching your live yesterday too, Sherry. That was nice. And I was kind of scanning through, like looking, seeing if anyone was doing a live. And scanning through like different channels because some YouTube did something different. They like updated their information or whatever. And so it's like got a totally different like screen on it. And now too, like their platform. I don't find it a hundred percent helpful, their new platform. But it's okay. Trying to figure out what that little spot, like right there, is supposed to be, but it doesn't show on my picture. And I totally like scan it in and make it like the frog was putting on lipstick or something and like totally missed its mouth and like got it all over the sides. All over his face. A carton? To paint by numbers in a carton? No? Yeah, it, it's hard to get used to something different. Like I was pulling up today <laughs> after I got done at the grocery store because I'd only buy milk and decided to get a couple other items. And um, 
I was pulling up and I was looking at the time and how much time it was until like noon because it's easier to like take until noon like like so eight until noon is like four hours and then until two o'clock is six hours and it was like 8 30 when I got home but I was like oh awesome I have like six hours that I have to myself without the kids. It's just so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, I have to pick them up. I have to go by noon. So, I have to, I'll have like four hours to myself. But, I look at it that way. I'm like, yeah, I've got like six hours. I can get so much done. <laughs> And when I got home, like, I got home and I look at the clock. I'm like, hmm, let me see if I can get this done. So I, um, oh, I just found where I missed part of that six. So I was like, let me see what I can get done before I have to go live. I don't have to, but I get to go live. Because I don't have to. But I get to. I have the opportunity to. Like you look at things different. You know like. If something traumatic happens to you. You know. You can look at it two ways. And say. Or like if you make a mistake on something. You can look at it. Like oh that was the biggest mistake of my life. And like dwell on it and stuff. But. The better way to look at it is like, you know what? That was a learning experience, and I am going to learn from that. Because, like, making a mistake is a learning experience, and you can learn from it. There's no point in dwelling on it and wallowing in, like, self-misery. There's no point in that, seriously. Um, You know? But so when I got home, I was like, what can I get done? So I... I had bought, what I mentioned earlier, is I bought two pounds of meat. And I bought, like, the already sliced ones. And they're probably about, like, an eighth of an inch to a quarter. Like, yeah. Maybe they're about a quarter of an inch. It, it, it's just skinny. Anywhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. Um, slices of this beef that I got. And so I... I like to get that to make jerky. And so I prepped it and got it in a bag so that it could start to marinate and stuff. Because it says to do it for a couple hours. Like, optimum is like overnight type thing. But at least four hours of marinating in the fridge and the um, seasoning and the solution. Uh, like the cure and so I did that and got that done before I came on here and so when I came down here I kind of had to clear things off and get it prepped I'm like oh <laughs> I didn't give myself much time <laughs> so procrastination type thing because I could have cleared it off this morning when I was down here for a couple minutes but I didn't uh -uh. But yeah, but also like, I was also thinking, all right, see you later, Miss Gigi. Have a great day. Oh, that'll be fun, Sherry, to sew up some pants. I need to. So I gave myself, so I'm going to move my camera real quick because I am done with the fives and the sixes. So here is the picture here. It's coming to life here. <laughs> so, I, I was giving myself a pep talk yesterday. And I told my husband this. Because, of course, I let my, like, I should have had my son change out of his school pants when he got home from school. And I didn't. And I let him sleep in them. Um, 
And what happens? He decides that he is going to have an accident at night. Because he's five. And so occasionally, you know, they still pee the bed. Which is normal. And so he had peed the bed. So I gave him a shower in the morning. But I was like, man, what pants am I going to put on him? Because I only really have like one pair of long pants that really work for him. And the other pair I got out of his brother's stuff that doesn't fit his brother anymore. But I still had it there. And so I took those out of his brother's um like school clothing tote thing that we have underneath the bed. Cause I kind of keep the school clothes and the regular play clothes separate. So it's easier to find and organize for them. And so I took the pants out and it had a hole in the knee type thing. I'm like, Oh my, (laughs) I'm like, well, I don't have time to sew it up really quick. I'm like, man so I tried giving myself a pep talk I'm like okay Pam you know you need to get this done you need to stop procrastinating and putting it off and get these pants sewn up you need to like get them cut out because I have a pile of fabric in the corner of my table along with a bunch of other stuff right now too but I have the fabric I have the pattern to use. It's the point is, is getting and sewing, like cutting out the fabric with the pattern, like putting the pattern on the fabric and cutting it out because I've done the pattern before. And so I already have the pattern like cut out. I think I traced it out. And so I already have that prepped. I can make a pair of pants just like the ones that he was wearing before and make him a new pair. And it's not that difficult. Some of the fabric, though, is thinner. So I'm like, man, I don't know if this is going to work. It's like exactly the same fabric that he's already using and it looks fine. And it's not, it doesn't look see through at all when it's on him. But looking at it like, in the light and stuff in here because I have it so bright in here because of my lights I was like you know I really need to get those sewn up so I was kind of talking to myself on my way home and I told my husband about that (laughs) but then I was like thinking um should I go to the thrift store hi Pam how are you doing I am actually live, Pam. Do you believe that? Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. So, um, and if you guys don't know who Pam is, she also has a channel. So, I will send you her link really fast. Yes, I copied that. Sorry. So I will put in her link really quick. All right. There is Pam's link to her channel too. She does. She does has a bunch of different channels. She also has a reborn channel. And like a doll channel type thing. That she does. And so. I was giving myself the pep talk. And then I get home. And I totally forget that I was going to do a live you know I totally spaced it and so I decided you know what today is the day I'm gonna start cleaning I'm gonna get this room you know start cleaning and so I um moved things out and started cleaning and got my shelf set up and which back there doesn't look too bad at the moment. My table it has kind of like has stuff on it and I have stuff on the side. But see, it's not too bad back there. I have like a shelf back there I put some stuff on. And then on the other side, I have a shelf. <laughs> Give you a little sneak peek real quick. 
and I um, did that. And so I still have a lot to do in here to get it organized. And if I could keep it to where I could reach those shelves all the time, that would be great. Like I can reach the side. So I put like the most important stuff on the side where I can reach all the time. And then I can reach in and get stuff. But I have to have a spot to put my other stuff. So I'm still going to have stuff stacked up in front of those shelves. I already know it because that's just the way things are. But like also another I hear a little pattering up there but there's nobody home. And it's winter time, so unfortunately I know what that means. And I hate that sound. I hate it. Because it's getting colder. Oh, that's cool that you're going to make a new quilt. I started on, like, sewing pieces of fabric together and doing, like, a little quilt thing. But, um, because I live, like, just down this field so we have a field like we have like the absorbatory and like a walking trail and like field like just south of me <laughs> like so I'm like the middle of the street like of my block and so there's some apartments but just right there so it's you know Ohio okay and so I, I can see the field, like when I look outside, that's right there. I can see people walking on the trail at times. So I, um, I know what it is and it happens every year and I don't know how to stop it. Like, I have traps put out. Like, I, I like, and then the, okay, so down here, like, on that side, so I'll show you really quick. Okay, so I have, there's my shelf. Like, this is like a half shelf, and I have things up on my shelf, and then there's a heater vent. But on the other side of that wall is a crawl space. And so the crawl space is like um, dirt. But leading to the crawl space, like in the rafters and stuff, they go straight through. So like the ceiling and stuff, I think. No, I think there's a beam here, but in the back part, like there's spots where my could crawl through those beams and go under the floor here and it drives me nuts and then back in the furnace room there is like it's kind of open a little bit because that's where like the water heater is and the furnace and everything mm -hmm. so I can open this side up and show you really quick oh and it's kind of a, I have things kind of piled a little bit because I'm cleaning. But that door right there with my mirror on it, that um, is my furnace room. And I keep other things in there too besides just the furnace room. So it's a furnace and it holds a couple other items. But it has a water heater and the furnace and... Um, like a spare heater back there if I need to like hook up a heater. Like if my furnace was to go out and I had to depend on like um artificial heat that's not from the heater. Like it, I have like a heat dish type thing that I could plug in and use. So 
I have that. And, but back there, like, the wall isn't finished like that. So it doesn't enclose it because you have all the water pipes that are going from the, um, the water heater. Because we have a tankless water heater, <laughs> which I love. But we have the water pipes that are going, that have to go through that section too to get to the bathroom and the laundry room. And they go into the house space. And so we have an open area where things can go through. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, Sherry. That was great. Have a wonderful day, Sherry. I appreciate it. But, yeah. So, that's not the best sound I like to hear because I'm pretty sure there's nobody upstairs because I'm the only one home <laughs> there's nobody home and I don't have any pets like my son has a hamster but that's safely upstairs in its cage so yeah I'm a little bummed I heard that pitter patter sound yeah, man. All right. Well, thank you guys all so much for joining me. I think that is all I'm going to do today. I painted the six and the sevens. No, the fives and the sixes. And next time, I'll probably paint the sevens and possibly the eights next time. I'll figure out when a good time to come on and do that will be. But this is what I have done so far. I still have lots more to go. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay creative. Talk to you next time. Bye. Now I just have to find <laughs> my mouse when I can't find my. Keep on sewing. Oh, yeah. I. um. We'll keep sewing. I love sewing. Yeah, I'm glad you caught it too, Chris. And I'm glad you were here too, Tiffany and Sherry and Pam and t everybody and Artsy. It was great having you guys here. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. Thanks. <laughs>